Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to be quickly showing you how you can use the merge node inside of NA10. So what do you use the merge node for? Well, when you have branches that are directed off of a node, for example, you can see we have three parallel workflows right now, as you can see by the edit fields, and you want to combine all the outputs from these three individual branches into one single output. That is the purpose of using the merge node. So let's go into the merge node and you can see over here that we have four different options here for the modes. So we'll start off with the append. Now the append just basically stacks all the outputs one after the other and it'll do it in order from the first one to second to last. So in here, for example, I just have a made up name uh, with age email and I just do basically the same thing for the other two. So you can also control how many inputs you can have for your merge node. So the default is two, and then you can have a maximum of up to 10. So I'll just show you what that looks like. You can have up to 10 inputs. I'll change this back to three. Now, what happens if I run this? You can see that from the three field inputs, we just stack them one upon each other, and they're just separated by their individual sub-JSONs. So, we just now have three inputs. The next mode that you can use is the combine node. Um, this one, you are only able to have two inputs for that. It will not allow you to customize how many inputs you have. So just be aware of that. Now, when you put that, you can see that you have different options. You can do it by matching fields, where basically it'll have, for example, if I want to match it with the field name, and it will only then allow it to go through if the name from both of these fields here match. So I'll just show you as an example. So over here, I have Alice Johnson, and in this one, I have Alice Johnson. So uh, as you can see actually from the first two over here, the only difference between them that I have is their age, and I'll show you why in a second. So let's just say, for example, I want to match it based on their name. If I go ahead and test the step, you can see that it will pass through the data. Now, let's say if I want to actually pass through their age. Well, we'll actually see that their ages do not match, therefore it will not output any data. You also have a different output types. So, that one was to keep matches. So, because the name matched for both of them, it will allow the data to pass through. The ages did not match, it did not allow them to pass through. But you could even just say keep non-matches and it will allow the data to pass through. There's some other types as well. You could just say keep everything. Um, it just allows everything to go through no matter what. And then for example here you can just say enrich input 1, enrich input 2. The I'm not going to be covering the SQL Courier. This is like some special code so and I'm not very knowledgeable on this one. Um, the last option that we have here is the choose branch and this just basically allows you if you want to keep data from a certain branch. It will only either allow you to keep both, one, or you could even select none. So it will wait for all inputs to arrive, basically for both branches to complete. And then you can see over here that we can specify data of a specified input or a single empty item. Now the single empty item literally just outputs nothing, no data. Um, this one over here, you have options. You could either input data from branch one. So basically it will only output data from this one, which I will just run here in a second. So you can see this is from branch one. And if I show you branch two, it'll be age 28. Then you can see over here it outputs branch two. So that is how you can quickly and effectively use the merge node. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.